near police officers, but it stopped short of saying excessive force was used. It says the police weren't prepared for the violence, which it says was started by Palestinians. Those are the headlines. I'm back with more news at 5.40. Have a good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Now the news for the West Country. Hundreds of anti-poll tax demonstrators staged a noisy protest at Bristol Magistrates Court today. The court is hearing 2,000 summonses for non-payment of the community charge. A crowd gathered early outside the Magistrates Court building for the first cases against non-payers in Bristol. 2,000 summonses have been sent out. About 400 people are appearing personally to answer to them. Just one court is being used for today's proceedings right at the top of the building. There's a heavy police presence both inside and out, but that hasn't prevented occasional interruptions and one man has had to be ejected. Each case, though, is only lasting a few minutes. The magistrate, Mrs. Edith Kerner, said at the outset the court was merely to establish whether someone had a liability to pay, and that ability to pay was not a relevant defence. We are uh, absolutely appalled by the manner in which this uh, summons affair has turned into a kangaroo court already today. What do you mean by that? What is it that you object to? People inside the magistrate's court are being denied the right to make speeches, are being denied the right to question the validity of the summonses that have been issued against them. It's as though you were being prosecuted for a crime and not allowed to defend yourself in a court of law, and that is a disgrace in England. This is more like Eastern Europe. Today's cases are the first of 27,000 summonses against non-payers. Weekly court sessions have been booked for the next few months. Liability orders are being issued, giving the council the right to, to recover goods, wages or benefits equivalent to the unpaid poll tax. But a magistrate at Bath has resigned from the bench because he doesn't want to force people to pay the poll tax. Mr Lynn Harrington, who is also a Labour councillor, has told the Lord Chancellor that his position is untenable as he would not be prepared to enforce orders for payment. Head teachers in Somerset were advised today to draft in volunteers to run the county's school meal service. David Nicholson, the Tory MP for Taunton, also said parents should be able to decide if they want the meal service to continue. But he warned they would not be able to escape the extra cost and should be prepared to pay an economic price. Finally, there's a warning of gales this weekend with winds of up to 85 miles an hour affecting the west on Sunday night or Monday morning. Some structural damage can be expected, so do look out. This afternoon's weather, sunny intervals, but also showers, some becoming heavy. There'll also be a few showers tonight. That's it, our next news, 6 o'clock. <laughs>